Are you okay? Are you okay? Is there any better way to start a Kauai video than... No! I, I didn't even know Kauai was a place. Can I say that? Should I say that out loud? Probably not. So many people said it was their favorite island. Oh. When we were told that Kauai is what you see in your mind when you picture Hawaii, we said, let's go. And now we want to move there. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to Kauai. Went through the airport and we found the guy. Who we meet? We don't know. <laughs> that old guy. <laughs> the end. The guy in the van. That we. We found yeah. the guy that was not in Oahu. He was in Kauai. It was the a van real, guy. The van guy. Yeah. Yes. So everywhere you look, there's chickens and roosters. And I Googled and there's actually 450,000 chickens and roosters. I guess yeah. I have to say both. To the 73,000, like 298 or something people that live there. Well, to 73,300 when we move. What, 302. <laughs> Look at that view. I could not recommend that hotel more. Of all the places we've stayed, it's the top three hotel. I mean, it was amazing. So we couldn't check in immediately. And Noah's zoned in on the gym. That's where I'm gonna be. You know what it smells like? A brand new basketball. <laughs> this is the most equipped gym I think I've ever seen. At a hotel. They have a squat rack, everything. So many cardio machines, row machines. They have massage guns to use. Oh my goodness, I think this is the best hotel I've ever been at. The red carpet. <laughs> I feel like we're at like a yoga retreat. What are you doing? I am going to sleep. Infinity pool. <laughs> so while we waited, it was cool because we got to use the pool and hang out in this beautiful setting. And they had that really cool restaurant by the pool that we went and ate. Oh, and you, which <laughs> you tried the hot, hot sauce. sauce. Noah and I yes. tried this hot sauce. It's uh, been like 20 minutes of horrific pain. <laughs> right when we were sitting there, we got the uh, text message that the room was ready. I thought the room key was super cool. Yeah, the little wooden, <laughs> little wooden circle. circle. Yeah, they don't fare well in the water, but... <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> but no, the room was amazing. The view was that beautiful Hanalei Bay mountainside. I think the mountains are just so gorgeous anyway, but they were unlike any mountains we had seen. So we got settled and what do you do then? You go eat. You go eat again. <laughs> there is a place right down the street from our hotel. It was cool because we, we had to wait for a little bit, but it was fine because we got to play cornhole. And yeah, Connect Four. It was a really good place to lose uh, money too, right babe? 
Oh my gosh. I lost every bit of my cash. Fell out of my pocket. The hostess, um, when we went down to play games, held on to that money the entire time yeah. until we got back. That goes to show how good people really are. It was, it was a nice, nice place to sit down and eat. We had live music. And, yeah. There's something about just being in Hawaii and uh, the musician playing a ukulele that is just like, oh. <laughs> Another day in paradise. One of the things that is really important to us is maintaining a certain level of fitness. And especially with me being an amputee, I notice when anything is off, like if I even gain a couple of pounds, then my leg doesn't fit right. I'm getting back to it because of all the surgeries. I, I wasn't able to exercise for a while, so it feels good to be back. And, and Noah has really gotten into it in the last year or so. Yeah. Finally made it to the waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hike a really long way. Yeah, all the way from our room. <laughs> Riley had been nonstop talking about getting paddle boards. Probably get some what, Riley? A paddle board? She is, we didn't know we had a professional paddle boarder. She's obsessed. <laughs> right, good job, honey. No. Do it longer. No, what is very good. <laughs> She's okay. I am not a paddleboarder. There's a lot of things that I love to do and I will try any adventurous thing. There's something about not having an ankle there and not being able to feel how balanced I am on the other side. Yeah, it doesn't work well. There's sea turtles everywhere in Kauai. It's insane. I love sea turtles. And so the fact that I can get out here on a paddleboard and see like 15 of them. Absolutely love it. Whoa. Oh so cool. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, oh. oh. Whoa. Yeah. I stayed on after that. And we'll see about this one. Whoa. Footage of me falling off the paddleboard though. <laughs> yeah. But that gave me an excellent opportunity to do some snorkeling where we saw that massive stingray with the yes. long tail. I followed that stingray for about 20 seconds before I was like, meh. When we went shopping to get all of our stuff for the next day for the raft adventure, do you remember we couldn't even pull in a parking spot? We can't pull into a parking spot because there's too many chickens and Little roosters everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love Hawaii. We were trying to go to Tunnels Beach. It was crazy packed. There was nowhere to park. But just up the street is uh, Hyena Beach. Manini Holo Dry Cave is literally across the street from where you park to go to Hyena Beach. And so that was really cool. The kids loved that. Then the next morning it was time for our raft adventure. Yeah, on the other side of the island <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Well, as the valet said, we're up with the chickens and the roosters. <laughs> yeah. He said, what are you doing up with the chickens? We didn't realize when we booked our excursion that it's on the other side of the island. So we're driving to the other side, but we're really excited. We think it's going to be a lot of fun today. We could not be happier that we went with Kauai Sea Tours because we had yeah. Captain Jen. She was phenomenal. Hi, what's your name? Riley? Nice to meet you, Riley. How old are you, Riley? Seven? We took the... The Zodiac raft. We took the Zodiac raft, and when you <laughs> walk up, you're like, where are the seats? <laughs> you're supposed to put these feet belts on, and it's this rope that goes across the top of your feet. That is what's supposed to keep you in the raft and not falling off the edge. So right. I didn't have a lot of confidence in that. <laughs> My feet belt kept coming off, so I was for sure going to fall out. <laughs> I gotta say that the Nepali coast is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my life. Probably the most beautiful. The probably. Place. Oh,
top of the cliff here on that eighth pie, which is that golden sea mist, uh, and then leaps off. And if you're deemed to be a good person, or like, no, um, have successfully like completed all of your life missions and that kind of thing, uh, you would go to the underwater world called the Gold. And if not, then you were um, a night marcher. You were destined to, uh, to march these beaches for the remaining uh, of your soul life. Be easier. Uh, appetite or quench your thirst, right? That's kind of a form of suffering. Otherwise, it doesn't look like too bad of a hell. One of the most magical things I've ever seen were the dolphins surrounded our raft. Wow. Oh, oh. the spinner dolphins. Right? Oh, the spinners, yes, yeah. Hawaiian spinner dolphins. So they would show off. Oh, look at me, I'm a flipping little dolphin, let me flip for you. And jump up out of the water and spin in the air. No one on the raft could believe it. We had seen the dolphins, we had mm. seen the sea caves, and then we got another huge surprise, the face. Yeah. It's exactly like it, yeah? Well, in fact, a lot of Moana was actually inspired from this island. So this is a sacred spot here because this is where all of the chiefs were buried up here in these sea cliffs. The Sea Tours Company, they provide you lunch mm -hmm. and then you take you to a snorkel spot. So we got to do a little bit of snorkeling. Bear cats some issues. Some major issues. Are you okay? Are you okay? With Beck's water leg, one of the really cool things, when you peel back the sock, there is a little button, which can be difficult sometimes. The foot bends like this to where you can put a flipper on it, but it needs to lock out. If it's not fully extended, it will not lock. Rebecca's leg was stuck at a right angle like this, and she's trying to swim in the water <laughs> with a flipper on and it's actually pretty dangerous. Well, when you have the flipper on, it allows you the motion to be able to swim. And so I can tread water pretty easily. We couldn't get the foot fixed and so Beck had to get back on the boat. And eat, poor Beck. After a five and a half hour long day on the raft, we were wiped out. We are driving back up to our hotel and I'm just gonna walk to a nearby place and get us a pizza. Doesn't matter how much of this island I see, everywhere you go, it's just beauty. That evening, my bad luck didn't stop there because I noticed this really weird place on my arm. Hitting up the urgent care. Rebecca has got some things going on. <laughs> Leave it to me, weird things. She's got some kind of like flesh eating thing going on or I something. Hope not. Hopefully not. Got a weird place on my arm that's just freaking me out a little bit. So we're gonna be better safe than sorry. So I got diagnosed with a bacterial infection. I'm walking in to get my medicine from the pharmacy now. They gave me antibiotics and some kind of cream for the rash that's on my neck and stuff. So it's been an eventful day. I'm really glad that we did go and get on some antibiotics pretty immediately. Don't you two look just beautiful in your matching lily oh, dress? Don't tell her that. She they don't, don't match. match. They don't match, but they're. I told her that she called. Everybody's it's looking not, good for. But it's final dinner we wanted to have a night where we all got dressed up and went out to dinner and it was just a really nice restaurant and they have a short ceremony at the end of every day and then we had a, a really yummy dinner 
Carly wanted grilled shrimp. And Rob, I got... She, she didn't want them straight out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> they still have their eyeballs. <laughs> They're going to be so yummy, Rob. They yeah. still have their eyeballs. Check it out. Look. All right. So you let's just pretend you've never even right. seen that part. Oh, I see it all right. <laughs> super thankful for this amazing time that we've had together. Now, there's some trips that you know you're just going to remember forever and this is certainly one of them. At the end of our dinner, we, we couldn't believe that our time in Kauai was almost over. So sad. The last day, so we didn't fly out until like 1030 at night. Yeah. So we had a whole day. One thing we hadn't gotten to explore yet was the adults only infinity pool. Last day here at this incredible hotel. First time in the adults only pool. The kids are watching a movie and me and mama are out here enjoying this incredible view. So even after enjoying the infinity pool, we had like 10 hours left before <laughs> departure. I think they're wanting to say hi to you. One area that everyone said we needed to check out but we hadn't seen yet was Poipu Beach. Which isn't very far from the airport but it's on the opposite side of the island which worked out perfectly for us. What better to do than waste 10 hours at Poipu Beach. One of the reasons that it's so popular is because of the turtles. The sea turtles. <laughs> And I did get to swim with one very large sea turtle. You did. Yeah. And you, that part where you were freaking out and you put the camera back on you. And it was yeah. like, ah! Yeah, and you can't you really put... see my face, but I was like, I was hyped. But it was a nice beach. We, we really enjoyed our final hours. And and once again, there were chickens. I've never they seen tried chickens to on eat, the beach. They tried to eat my puka dog. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> We were told by a lot of people to try these puka dog, or uh, puka dog, is that what it's called? Puka Hawaiian dogs in Huipu. And I do love hot dogs, so let's give it a shot. Mm. A good spot. What do you think, Ryan? You like it? It's, it's fine, you <laughs> Noah? Like it? Delicious. So it's pretty cool if you ever was in Texas like we were. It's kind of like a kolache, Polish sausage. And you can get all these different Hawaiian style uh, relish. I got some pineapple relish and a Hawaiian mustard. It is delicious. So if you're in Poipu, it's where it's at. It's good. Good beach snack. After our puka dogs, we packed up and we headed to the airport. Very sadly. But not too sad because right around the corner was Bali. So if you hit that like and subscribe, we can't wait to experience Bali and share it with you. Till next time.